Hi, I'm Jeff Morlois. And I'm Johnny Daggers. What you're working on, and how did it come about? Uh, the new film is entitled The Charnel House Vault. As far as how it came about, I'll let you answer that one. Uh, I had actually called Johnny because I had such a good time working on Octavius with him. We were on it together. You were executive producer and, and actor. On yeah, I was. I didn't want to be the actor, but Johnny got me to do it. Um, so, but I called him since I had such a good time uh, doing that with him. Said so we got to make another movie, and uh, incidentally, I had just picked up five and a half acres of land on the side of a mountain in West Virginia. And while, when I was walking the land, one of the things I found on it that I didn't even know was there was a root cellar. And to be completely honest, I didn't know what a root mm -hmm. cellar was. Uh, it was really cool, actually, when you sent me a photo. It almost looked like an underground bunker that you would see in Germany during World War II or something. It was really awesome. I think. thought there was going to be a pile of bodies behind it. I was kind of hesitant to open the door, but I did. And um, uh, Emma and I, my wife, uh, invited Jerrica and Johnny to see the land. So we went down to film it, and uh, as I recall, you really, really liked it. Yeah, originally, I didn't know what to do with it. It's very seldom where I'm presented with an awesome location and told, go ahead, just write something to fit this. So I think initially, before we went to visit, I was going to just do a, a trilogy-type film where I was going to film a couple shorts that all tied in together. Um, and then after going out and visiting the property, I just thought, this is so amazing we have so much to work with here that it would be a waste to just film you know an anthology film with shorts we need to do a feature-length film out of this so uh, then i had to come up with ideas so and, and he did what is the premise and reasoning behind the film oddly enough the premise is vampires so we love vampires well i love vampires you love vampires I've been turned off of vampires and zombies since I can remember. I used to love both genres. They used to be my favorite, but zombies were outdone as soon as you started. As soon as you could go to Walmart and buy, like, zombie dish towels and everybody, the zombie craze. And everybody then, was doing it. And then, yeah, and then with the vampires and the Twilight fad. The sparkling that really, vampires. Yeah. So I swore them both off, but after seeing the property, it just, the one theme that kept haunting me is like you need to make this a vampire film and I'd fight it off and like no more vampire films <laughs> I really want to stick with the neo-noir route that I did with Octambulist but vampires won out I had to do the location justice and vampires just really seem to be the most appropriate well, the good thing is me talking in this one too and this one is a talkie believe it or not as much as I'm trying to get away uh, from the talkies and stick with silent films it's I think it's gonna work great I'm yeah. excited about it At what stage are you at in the process? Decay. We're decaying. Slowly. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, right now we're actually in the pre-production uh, pre stages. I'm still working on the script. Uh, we've actually been having weekly pre-production meetings going over uh, props, scenes, locations, casting. casting, and all of that. So... Still very early on, but everything is coming together uh, incredibly well. I mean, we start filming, what, first week in June? That's the plan. When do you anticipate beginning production? Definitely first week of June, yeah. 2019. It's going to be hot. It's going to be very hot. Um, Buggy. There's bugs everywhere out there. Yeah, so... But I'm looking forward to it. it. It'll be a good time. I'm looking forward to the bugs, too. And we have to... We have a very tight schedule to work with. Um, Jeff actually is working on a film of his own, which I I'll am. be helping him with uh, just several months after we we complete uh, the Toronto House Vault, so... Right after, like two months after. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Uh, we've decided to take Dagger Vision Films and his production company, which is Furnace Creek Productions, and uh, more or less make a sister company. I guess we're kind of an umbrella. Uh, we're like sisters. We are like sisters. Yeah. <laughs> Why is she smiling at us? I don't know. Have you begun casting yet? And if so, anyone we know? 
We have. I mean, I'm still formulating the script, so new characters are being introduced on a semi-regular basis. Um, but there are some few. We have Jeff's brother, Robert, yes. cast as the lead male actor by the name of Samuel Hawthorne. And uh, Robert was in Noctambulus, but he just had a small uh, bit part as one of the cocktail party guests. Um, so we're going to be using him. Off camera, we're going to be using a good bit of the same makeup artists. Yeah, pretty much all the same teams coming back. Uh, maybe minus one, but you know, hopefully we even get her back and yeah. get this going. And then even yourself, you're going to... I am. He's forcing me. As much as you don't like to be in front of the camera. No, my job's to learn from you behind the camera. I know, but look at this mug. That, that putum's got to be on uh, It's got to be. Got to be in pictures, On all kid. the milk cartons and all the yeah. post offices, too. Where can fans stay up to date about the process of the film? Find us on Facebook at the Charnel House Vault.